Hello, everyone. This is Chrisom, and I'd like to welcome you to another conversation about your Kundalini Awakening experience. In this conversation, I would like to discuss with you the ancient, um, primitive human understandings of their own Kundalini Awakening experience. We're here at Painted Rock in southern Arizona. This is about oh, maybe 50 miles uh, north of the Mexican border with the United States. This is an area, as, as you'll see in some of, the, uh, some of the, the rest of this video, this is an area where ancient man, ancient shaman, would come and bring his magic to the area and accept magic from the area. This is a holy, sacred site and has been used that way for over 10,000 years. The scientists don't know very much about why the people came here. They have their, they have their theories, and we can go into some of that later on. But uh, for the most part, they made pilgrimages to this, to this spot. It was a pilgrimage. So there are many flies here, and they're, you know, getting in Suntara. So I, I want to thank her for her perseverance with this. As she pans the video this way, you can see what a harsh and, and unforgiving land this is. This was not the easiest place to trek for hundreds, hundreds, if not thousands of miles to come and leave your petroglyph on the same area that your father's father left his and, or your mother's mother left hers because we have to understand that shamans were also women. Uh, you know, the, the, the patriarchal societies weren't always represented in, in this part of the world. Uh, so it's you know it's a very very standout beautiful place. So you want to come here with as much respect as you can possibly have. Uh, they don't even want you to touch the uh, petroglyphs. They don't want you to touch any of the any any of the uh, the symbols on the rocks. And and I would ask you not to touch them yourself. Come here with a a very sacred mindset. This is very very ancient stuff. It's 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 older than than almost anything of a, even of the European values, except for, you know, where once again the, uh, the, uh, the people were, were using petroglyph-like things, like in, in, uh, It's okay. In, it's uh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. Just to be. <laughs> Come on, little one. Yeah, just to be. The insects, the insects are very attracted to the Kundalini people, plus, you know, some of the sweat or something that we have on us, too. So it was, we're very sweet-smelling <laughs> people, I guess. There's one around your back now. Yeah. <laughs> on my arm, actually. Hello, you. Now, don't be voracious or anything. No stinging evolved. Here we go. You want to get a close-up of him? Oh, no, go. he's gone. Okay, so I know most of you won't do that kind of thing. Uh, this is a place of nature. This is a place where... Uh, human and shaman became very, very close in their relationship. That bee had a message to tell me that, that bees of similar lineages would have told the shamans who came here 
to the painted rock. Uh, so once again, when you come here, practice ahimsa, cause no harm for anything. Don't, don't climb on the rocks or touch the rocks. Do take pictures of the rocks and do come here and meditate and pray and feel the level of power that this place has to give to you. Thanks for watching and thank you for coming. Bye-bye.